So Google's actually had this feature for a little while, which is Chrome Remote Desktop, but I was always unsure about the product and I wasn't sure if Google was gonna keep it or kill it. Well, it turns out they're not just gonna keep it, they made it better and did some enhancements and kind of relaunched it here. So you go to remotedesktop.google.com, it has an official site, it's not just a plugin from the store that, like I said, I was never really sure about how good it was. And I did some testing with it a while ago and it worked. Well, now that they've brought it to the prime time, it works really well. So we're here at remotedesktop.google.com. I'm already logged into my Google account, which is of course the first thing. You make sure you're actually not just logged in your Google account, you see up here, you actually have to be logged into Chrome for this to work, just so you know. So we're gonna start with showing you the remote access side and how to set it up. So I'm on the computer, which is a Windows 10 machine that I want to have remote access to. So to set up remote access, we go to download here. Accept and install, you can do it all from here. Say yes. Windows 10 test machine, oops. So that's what we're gonna call this one. You have to set a pin. All right, and hit start. Agree. Now it actually installs this as a service. So even if I reboot or close Chrome, I can remotely access machines. This is a virtual machine running. I wanna switch over to this. This is not running on here. As you can see, Chrome's not running. This is my Linux desktop, but I'm gonna kind of show it to you so you can understand what's going on here. This is the Windows machine. This is all of my desktops. And now we're gonna just drag this over here so you can kind of see what's happening. Go back to the middle screen, and we're gonna go ahead and take control of this machine. Now it asks us for the pin that we entered. You can remember the pin so you don't have to ask every time. Now we have Windowception. So what you're seeing here, if I click this, we're getting it here. It actually works inside the browser. So I'm running this from Linux, there's nothing I had to load. All of the control of this Windows box is occurring right in here. So I can leave my Windows machine running and it supports Linux as well as, as a host and guest. So it works both ways. And it works on Chromebooks, which is also very interesting as well. So if you have a Windows box, but you wanna access it from your Chromebook, you can do and follow the steps I just showed. So this is a really neat utility for being able to have free remote desktop and it's hosted through Google it's as secure as your Google account is to my understanding of it. Uh, I don't know how well vetted the protocol is. I can't speak to that. But uh, Google has a pretty good track history of doing things in a very secure way. Now, the other service that's offered on here, we're gonna go ahead and just get this out of the way and open up Chrome again. And it will fail if you try to connect to yourself in case you're wondering, but you can also get support. So to let someone else access this computer, you can generate a code. And there's the code. If you click, it'll copy that code. And now all I have to do is put in that code they gave me and I can connect to it and it works the same way. So if you wanna give someone temporary support, you can actually go there, get the code, send them the code, they go to remotedesktop.google.com and they would be able to access your computer. I'm hoping scammers don't start using this because uh, it's another free support tool out there and they would might claim they're from Google. But I tell you what, this is a uh, pretty slick system for being able to remote control for free and go in here. So let's go try something else real quick and show you at least one more thing. Now, if you, I took control outside of the screen as you guys can see, and you have this right here, the stop sharing. So you know when someone's controlling your computer because you get this here. So that is one nice thing about it is if someone was able to get into your account and did take control and you go, I want that person off, I will do it. So I actually show you what happens when you click the stop sharing. So here's that window over here and we're gonna click it over here and we're gonna say stop sharing. It just drops you right back to the screen when you do that. So, and it says your Chrome has been done, reconnect, and we can just click it and reconnect if we want. So my final thoughts on the 
Chrome Remote Desktop or Google Remote Desktop is they do offer an Android app, which is slick because now you can do this from your phone or Android device. I've tested it. It works fine. I don't own an iPhone, but uh, I was told it works on the iPhone as well. They have an app for it there, so you can have someone connect their desktop or laptop computer uh, via this and control it from the logged in iPhone. And to get started with this, like I said, it's as simple as remotedesktop.google.com. It seems to work really well. You, If you want to use this for remote accessing your devices when you're away from them, if you have a home computer or if your work allows it a work computer and you say, I want to be able to remotely access that computer from really anywhere, like it says here, it's a really nice tool. And we were really impressed with it. I mean, it didn't really have any issues with it and seemed to work uh, quite well no real disruptions. So we actually tested it before this video of uh, doing it at our houses and it seems that as long as you have a reasonably fast connection, not a problem it keeps working. All right, if you like the content here, like and subscribe. Uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.